The challenge of the Yukon. On King! On your head, King! <laughs> the Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes a trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of a small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserve law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Jane Stilwell stood on the deck of the Lula Bell as it steamed up the Lewis River towards Selkirk. In spite of the beauty of the scenery before her, her face looked troubled as she talked to her younger brother, Jim. I wish you'd let me keep the map, Jim. It's so important not to let anybody know about it. Stealing gold claims is one of the commonest crimes up here, they say. Oh, do you think I'm a baby? The map's safe with me. I don't like the company you've been keeping on this boat. Oh, must we go into that again? You were drinking last night, Jim. Well, what if I was? I'm 19. A man should know how to... Don't quote Dirk Carruthers to me. Well, he knows his way around. He's been in this territory ten years. He's nothing but a cheap gambler. Before we reach Selkirk, he'll have most of your money. Huh. That's where you're wrong, sis. So far, I'm way ahead. So you have been gambling. Oh, please, Jim. Let me keep the map until we reach Selkirk. Oh, all right. It's half yours anyway. Here. You haven't mentioned this to anybody, have you? Oh, Jane, stop nagging me. I'm going inside for a while. I have to meet somebody. Be careful, Jim. <laughs> Now. Hello, Jim. I'm waiting for you. Hello, Dirk. Hi, Sam. Hi, Hi Jim. Jim. Sit down and do your hand. You want a drink first? <coughs> no, thanks. I think I had too much last night. <laughs> you sure had a good time talking. I guess I said a lot that didn't make sense. You sure had big plans about what you are going to do when you found that claim on your grandfather's map. Map? You mean I, I said something about a map? <laughs> He doesn't even remember. <laughs> Why, well, even offered to help you find the claim. How many chips you want, son? Oh, say, I left my wallet in my other trousers. Excuse me a minute, I'll get it. Think we scared him away? No, I don't think so. We had to find out. Do you think there is a map? Sure there is. Didn't you see how he acted? But if it hadn't been for that sister of his, he'd have brought it back last night. If he has it on him, we could give him a couple of knockout drops. No, nothing like that. His sister's too smart. Uh, let's let him win some more money tonight. That'll give him confidence in us. And we can keep friendly after we land in Selka. Two days later, in the town of Selkirk, Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police answered a timid knock on his door. Boy, King. Down, boy. Well, how do you do? Uh, are you Sergeant Preston, Northwest Mounted Police? Yes, I am. Won't you come in? Thank you. I'm Jane Stilwell. I came to you for help. Won't you sit down? Oh, don't worry. King won't hurt you. He's a beautiful dog. Hello, boy. Sergeant Preston... My brother and I came from the States two days ago. We don't know anything about the country and have no friends, and... Well, now it looks as though we might be in trouble. Well, I'll be glad to help you. There's nobody I can trust. I... I had no idea how rough it was up here. It's not a very pleasant place for a woman. It frightens me. We came up here to look for a mine that my grandfather discovered. Recently? No, no, many years ago, long before the gold rush started. He came back to Ohio when Jim and I were little... Our parents were killed suddenly, and he came back to take care of us. He had plenty of money, but planned to come back here when we were old enough. And then he got ill, and we couldn't do it. That happened to many old prospectors. When he died, most of his money was gone. But he left us this map showing where his gold claim was. You're the only one I dare tell about it. And now you say you're in trouble. My brother met some men on the boat. They, well, they aren't a very good influence on him. They keep trying to gain his confidence, and I'm afraid of them. I... I'd like to get Jim away from here as soon as possible. Have you any idea where this claim of your grandfather's is? Here's the map. Guess I'm safe showing it to you. Hmm. He had a partner called Moosier Jake. Such an odd name, I thought Moosier maybe... Moosier Jake? Well, yes, I've heard of him. He lives somewhere up in the wilderness east of Dawson. 
He's rather an odd old fellow. He's like a hermit. Uh, would his place be near that cross on the map? Yes, it would. But I hate to disappoint you. I doubt you'll find any gold there. Well, why do you say that? Well, old Moose there is rather crazy. He dresses in rags, they say. He won't have anything to do with anybody. Doesn't like people. He comes in for supplies once in a while, but he hasn't any money. But surely Grandfather must have told the truth. We must see Moose here after coming this far, if he's still alive. Nobody ever suspected. Tell you what I'll do. I have to make a patrol to Dawson. Moose here's place is east of there, but I could take you. Wouldn't be too much out of the way. Oh, that would be wonderful. I could hardly let you two go into that wilderness alone, especially to see anyone like Moose here. I'd be very grateful to you. You could see him, and if he isn't cordial, which I'm sure he won't be, you and your brother can go on to Dawson with me. Uh, here's your map. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you. When could we start? I was planning to leave tomorrow. Well, the sooner the better. I'll go right back and tell Jim. Oh, and incidentally, it might be a good idea to leave quietly without telling anyone you're going. The following afternoon, Sam Hawkins burst into Dirk Carruthers' room, breathless with excitement. Dirk, they've gone. What? Who? The kid, Jim and his sister. Well, that's not possible. I didn't have any dogs. Checked out early. Went with the Mountie. With the Mountie? It's that sister of his. She did this. I just about had Jim talked into letting us in on it. Oh, and me. Deliberately losing ten bucks to him again last night so he'd trust us. Well, there's nothing we can do now. I guess there is. We can follow them. Yes, follow them. Andy, go out and find which direction they took. I'll get a dog team. As Preston, Jim, and Jane approached the small cabin of Moose Ear Jake far back in the wilderness... A strange little old man appeared at the door. A scraggly gray beard matched the wild gray hair that fell almost to the shoulders. He was thin and stooped, but peered at them belligerently, a gun ready in his hand. Suddenly, he let out a shrill whoop, dropped his gun, and rushed toward young Jim. Hey, Jonathan! Jonathan, you come back to me! What? Hey, I know you would. I've been waiting for you. And Jonathan, I... Who are these people? Why, uh, this is my sister Jane. And this is Sergeant Preston. Well, tell him to go along. We don't want no strangers. Oh, Jonathan, you ain't changed a mite. You look younger than ever. Well, I'm, I'm afraid you think I'm my grandfather. Hey, come, Jonathan. I got to show you oh, something. Oh, here. <laughs> These people are the grandchildren of Jonathan. They've come to see uh, you about Jonathan. Who's he, Jonathan, and, and that girl? Tell him to go along. Oh, but this is my sister. Uh, well, you shouldn't have brung her. Come along, Jonathan. Yes, you can't convince him, Jim. Maybe you'll better go with him. I want to talk to you. Hey, come along, Jonathan. I saved it all for you. I want to show you. All right, Moose, sir. I'm coming. He, he's sort of crazy, isn't he? He's so old, he's childish. I don't know whether it's safe to leave you here. Well, he, he doesn't seem dangerous. Jonathan was my grandfather's name. Thinks grandfather's come back. You see, Jim looks like him. Jim probably looks just the way your grandfather did when Moose here met him. Well, as long as he thinks that, I'm sure we'll be safe with him. He's lived alone so long, he's unpredictable. I know what I'll do. I have to go to Dawson, but I'll be back in a couple of days. I think I'll leave King with you until then. He'll protect you until Moose here gets used to having you around. Uh, are you sure you can spare him? Oh, yes. Come here, King. <laughs> How about it, fella? Will you take care of Jane? Oh, of course he will. Thank you, Sergeant. I'll feel perfectly safe now. Wish I weren't doing Dawson so soon. I'd stay around myself for a while. Well, don't worry a bit. Jim and King will take care of me, and as you say, in two days we'll know all about Moose here. Moose here, chuckling happily, <laughs> led Jim to the hill not far from the cabin. <laughs> you remember, Jonathan? Remember this place? Ain't nobody coming, is it? No, Moose, sir. Nobody's around. Come on, Jonathan. Behind these bushes. Glad you ain't grown fat. You wouldn't get through this opening. I can just about squeeze through. Why, well, it's a cave. Hey, you ain't forgot, have you? I'll just light this candle. I'm going to show you the storeroom. Hey. See what I saved? <laughs> Look here. This is mine on this side, and here's yours. You didn't take all of it when you left me, and I've been working and working and dividing half and half like we said we would. You remember? Are, are all these sacks full of gold? Yeah, sure they are. Look. 
Uh, ain't it pretty, Jonathan? Them are nuggets from my brook hidden back here. Every day I come in and count them and, and hold them. Gold. Gold, Jonathan. So pretty and, and so shiny. But Moose here, why do you live in that little shack? Why don't you spend some of this? Oh, I don't want nothing more. Now that you've come back, just you working with me and looking at my gold taken out of the earth and the water. <laughs> It was two days later. Jim and Moose Ear had left for the mine, and Jane was busily sweeping the cabin as she talked to King, who lay in a corner watching her. Well, King, old fella, I guess Sergeant Preston could have taken you with him after all. Moose Ear actually said good morning to me. Ah, oh, you're lonesome for your master, aren't you, boy? Oh. What? Who? I wouldn't yell if I were you. Save your breath. Why, you... You're Dirk Carruthers. Yeah. Just paying a little call. Sam and Andy are bringing your brother and Moose here back from the mine. Why, you... Oh, hang on to that dog. I don't like the looks of him. I'll do nothing of the sort. Never mind. I know a better way to keep him quiet. Don't shoot. Get him, Kate. Get away from me. Stop it. My arm up. Get away, you cur. There. I've got your gun. All right, King. Watch him, boy. Now you move and I'll shoot. Get this dog off. Sam, help! You open that door and I'll shoot Dirk! Don't come in, Sam! Shoot Dirk and look, kill your brother! Uh, He's got him and Moose here out here! Dirk, tell them not to harm my brother, or I'll tell King to finish what he started. Get this dog off me and I will! Back, King! Uh, but watch him, boy! Uh, Lay off for a while, Sam! But if you hear a shot in here, kill Jim! Well, this is a situation. Looks like we're all stymied for a while. As Sergeant Preston neared Moose Ear's cabin, he wondered why King didn't come to meet him. Then he heard angry voices shouting. He stopped his team and crept toward them silently. No, no, you can't. I don't care what you say. That's my cabin. I'm going in it. Stay where you are, Crapper. You'll get a bullet through your skull. Moose here, be quiet. This man means what he says. Well, nobody ain't telling me what to do. I'm oh, going right. in Stop that you gun. Do. You're covered. Uh, Amani. Put up your hands, both of you. Sergeant Preston. Get his gun, Jim. Uh, here it is. Where's Jane? She's in the cabin. Dork's in there. Your dog's got him caught. Go and bring Dork out here, Jim. Jane! Jane! Sergeant Preston's here. Now you two stand together. I'm handcuffing you. Uh, the thieving skunks. They was going to take our mine. The mine I worked for 30 years, waiting for Jonathan to come back. Call this dog off. I'm not armed. Hello, Jonathan. King. It's... Keep watching him, boy. Now line up with those two, Dirk. I'm taking you to town. Oh, Sergeant. I'm so glad to see you. I guess you'll be safe now, Jane. You won't leave me, will you, Jonathan? No, Moose here. Jim, or Jonathan, as you call him, will stay with you for a while. King and I will take care of these three. <laughs> that cur... Watch it, Dirk. King's going to be your shadow all the way to Dawson. Perhaps you'd better be nice to him. (laughs) Yes, fella, you did a fine job. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Hal Neal speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.